Hello and welcome to the channel. Today's video has been brought to you in conjunction with the cleaning guide where we review everything so you can find out exactly what you need. So if you weren't at the cleaning expo recently you might have missed the new hex pole from X-Line Systems. Uh, it's the latest in anti-spin poles and they released it for the cleaning expo back in September uh, and it is a really nice feeling pole. So X-Line have sent me one of their hex poles and uh, I put it on uh, Instagram and I've had a few questions so I'm just doing a quick video for you today. If you want to see the full review on the hex pole I'm going to use it for a couple of weeks, I'm going to write up a full review, do a little video for it and that will be on the cleaning guide. So to start off with what is the hex pole and how does it work? As I said it's X-Line's anti-spin so all the other anti-spin poles so far are normally oval. There's a couple of round ones that have somehow got a groove in the uh, clamps I think to stop them from spinning but the other ones are oval. This one although it's called a hex it's not quite hexagonal uh, I'll put a little picture on the screen of the close-up at the end. Uh, it has got three flat sides and then sort of a rounded side. So it has got six sides, but three are flat, three are rounded. And it does feel really nice in your hands to use. I haven't actually used this yet. I'm just going to set this up today and start using it. Uh, and we'll see how we get on with it. So the hex pole is available in a number of different sizes. This one that I've got is the 22 foot and it goes up to a 45 foot and the 45 foot is the high mod version. The pole itself, not counting the gooseneck or the uh, little insert there, uh, is 1.6 meters when it's collapsed. So quite a nice short pole with the five sections uh, and it weighs just under 1200 uh, grams uh, that includes the little aluminium insert that the gooseneck screws onto. So the aluminium insert itself uh, you can't use any other insert because it is actually shaped with the hex shape so you have to have this insert you can't put one from any of your other poles into it because it just won't fit so that comes with it. It's also available with the Microflex anti-kink hose, which is X-Line's own braided hose, pole hose, or the premium X-Tube, which is X-Line's polyurethane, which is the one I'm going to be fitting into it this afternoon. So these are both really nice hoses. Uh, the polyurethane, always a much better hose to be using. The pole has got a rubber end cap, Again, this is exactly the same size and shape as the pole itself. So that, uh, that seems like quite a sturdy one that fits up inside rather than going over the end of it, but you've got quite a bit of uh, rubber on there to use. So the hex pole is made out of 3K carbon, uh, which is really nice. It looks really pretty. It's a really nice wrap. It's sort of the same sort of thing that you'd see maybe on sports cars when you see that crisscross pattern in the carbon. And it's finished with a matte finish. And it does feel really grippy in your hands. I normally wear gloves um, to make sure I get a bit of extra grip on my pole. But with this, I don't think you'd need to because it really does feel grippy in your hands. And that hex shape really does seem to fit well. Now, they've designed this to be light, uh, but it's not as light as a high mod. They've pitched this in between their normal Evolution uh, carbon fibre poles and their high mod nano poles. So it's sort of the middle ground. So I'm going to use it, as I said, for a couple of weeks now and see how I get on with it. So, uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it goes actually out when I'm using it. A couple of the questions that I've been asked are, does it work with the univalve? and the tubeless kit, both from Exceed Invasions. Everybody knows the univalve. Uh, well, the answer pretty easily is yes. So if I take the insert out, I'll just show you. With this that's set up with the univalve and tubeless kit, that will insert straight up. So the univalve there slips up the inside, no problem at all. Uh, now, the the tubeless kit will fit up the inside, but 
it is just a little bit tight when you extend it. You can just feel it rubbing a little bit when it's extended. So if I was fitting a tubeless kit on this, I think probably what I would do is maybe hold the, uh, hold the rectus fitting in a drill, give it a spin against a bit of sandpaper and just maybe uh, sand a mill or a couple of mill off and that's all it's going to take all the way around and then your tubeless kit's going to fit no problem at all. But as I said, the univalve itself fits no bother at all in the hex pole. If you're using the tubeless kit, you can use the tubeless end cap as long as you use the right size. These are round, but they will fit on to the pole and because that's quite soft, they'll push on and that gives you a bit more protection and also feeds your tubeless kit up the inside uh, when you're using that. So if you've got a hex pole and you want to use your own brushes on it or you want to put a swivel on it because at the moment uh, X-Line don't do a swivel so that's really easy to do all you need to do is undo the gooseneck take the bolt out and then you can put on either your gardener your window cleaning warehouse uh, or your over eight with, you, with the swivel on it, that just comes apart and then bolts straight on to the top of the gooseneck and they all fit in really well together. You can even use it with your uh, DA uh, scrubber pads uh, and they'll all fit on and works brilliantly. Just bolts it back in together and they all fit together really nicely. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Uh, as I said, keep watching, see how I get on with it. Keep looking at the cleaning guide. Uh, we've got loads of stuff on there. We've got a load of gutter vacs coming up on there. And we've also got uh, six different water-fed pole trolleys to test, which are all gonna be coming up on there shortly. Uh, don't uh, expect them too soon because there's a lot of work involved with the testing and the photographing and putting it all on there. So, but they're all in the uh, all in the line to be put on. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Take a look at the hex pole. Have a look at X Line's website. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.